What is May 4 code? Most sailors can't figure it out, but for others, it's the Holy Grail. Now, I'm not going to say that May 4 code is 100% accurate all the time, but it's as correct as any other forecast, and it's kind of fun to play with this archaic system. It's something you can show the kids or grandkids. Keep them busy for hours while they're on your boat. May 4 stands for Marine Forecast, so it's just for boaters. It's much more detailed than the weather on TV. It gives you wind direction, wind speed, the general weather, and the greatest thing of all, it gives you the times when all this weather is going to happen. Now, it doesn't give you wave height, but never mind, because if it gives you wind speed, if there's wind, there's going to be wave height. I'm Alan Stokel. So on this episode, how to decode May 4 code. Anyone can access May 4 code, but uh, if you have the internet or a VHF radio. Now let's listen to this again and write down the numbers for Western Lake Ontario. One zero, one niner, five one niner. Western Lake Ontario, five groups. One six niner, zero zero. One three niner, zero zero. One one five one zero. One three five one zero. One niner, five one niner. Not easy, is it? You should replay this until you have all five of those codes. Remember, each code starts with one, and only the last four really mean anything. There are five codes for Western Lake Ontario. Six, nine, zero, zero, three, nine, zero zero one five one zero three five one zero one nine one nine now let's look at the first one six means the forecast is valid for 24 hours nine means the winds are variable Zero is the wind speed, which is zero to ten knots. And the last zero is good to moderate visibility. Hey, so let's go sailing. Let's <laughs> bring along the spinnaker. The next one is 3900. This forecast is good for the next nine hours. Winds are variable, and there is good to moderate visibility. Sounds boring, <laughs> but wait. The next is 1510. Now the winds are from the southwest, uh, from 11 to 16 knots. The next one is 3510, meaning the winds within the next nine hours are from the southwest at 0 to 10 knots. After that, it's 1919. That means for the last three hours, of the 24-hour cycle, the winds are variable from 1 to 11 knots, and a thunderstorm is likely. Hmm, maybe I better stay in port. If you would like a copy of my May 4 sheet, uh, please email me at the address below. I'm Alan Stokel. Thank you for watching.